cuties, welcome back to my channel. I'm Fabiola, if you don't know me, and I love to create lifestyle, fashion, beauty, and decor videos on my channel. I also love to blog and love everything that is pink and girly, so if you love any of that, consider subscribing, click the notification bell, and follow me on social media. So today I am very excited. I'm going to be comparing two of my favorite tote bags. And I feel like one of these tote bags is not mentioned as much. I feel like a lot of people try to stay away from it because of its size. So I wanted to compare both of them side by side and also share with you why I chose them as well as show you what they look like on. So I have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the PM size and the Neverfull in the MM size. This bag here I got about six years ago, and this one here is my most recent purchases, so I've only had it for maybe less than a month. So we're going to start off first with this little bag here, which is my favorite. This was actually my very first designer handbag, and I just love it so much. I got it for my birthday about six years ago. So this little bag is so perfect. I love it because of its size. It's just like the perfect size. It's not big. But it's also not tiny either and you can definitely fit so much in here this is the interior of it it's in this beige color i believe it also comes in this like dark fuchsia color so i got it in the canvas print i've always wanted something in the canvas print and i just love that print um i believe it also might come in the damier avine i'm not too sure but it doesn't come in the damier azure i feel like if it came in that print i would like buy it in a heartbeat i wish it did because for me this is like perfect so the straps you can definitely see that they have darkened quite a bit over the years if i put it side by side with the neverfull mm you can definitely see the huge difference so they will darken and i don't think you can really prevent that i think it just will happen over the few years so it's now in this like beautiful caramel color which i actually think it looks great in contrast with the canvas so this little bag is wonderful because you can pack it to the fullest and it will not lose its shape. It doesn't sag as the other ones and that's why I find this bag to be great. Also, it's very nice because you can cinch this in and you can kind of turn it into like a little handbag if you don't like the tote bag style. But as for the size, I think this is just perfect and I feel like a lot of people are scared of getting the PM size because it just seems like it's small but it really isn't I think it's just perfect so for the straps here the straps are a little bit on the shorter side so depending on what you're wearing it might be uncomfortable I tend to use this a lot during the summer and the fall as a shoulder bag and I still have you know plenty of room in here but if I was to wear this during the winter time when I'm wearing like a jacket or a bulky sweater, I just could not because this will definitely not fit in there. So I feel like it depends on what you're wearing and also your size. It may be a little bit uncomfortable, but you can also wear this as just like a little handbag or put it in the crook of your arm and it looks adorable. So this is the PM size. So now I'm going to talk about the MM size. So this bag I recently got about a month ago. And the reason why I got this is because of the color. I've always wanted something in the Damier Azure. I think it's beautiful. And the interior on this bag is pink. My favorite color. So that is basically what sold me on getting this bag. The color of the interior as well this is like the perfect handbag for going out especially during the summertime you can pack it all the way up and you can literally carry all i guess they're called never full for a reason because they can never be full you can literally add and add and until you can't add no more but this one here i do have to use an organizer and i do have this pink one right here i'll link it down there below if you're interested but I think if you have the MM size or the GM size, you definitely do need to get an organizer if you do not want it to lose its shape. It's also great because you can just literally, you know, organize everything in your tote bag. Um, but the interior looks like this. Let me show you in close up. It is so, so spacious in here. I love this bag. And I was a little bit scared at first because I am just so used to my PM tote bag. I thought this would be just way too big, but it's actually quite comfortable and it doesn't look humongous. This is what it looks like on. And as you can see, the straps here are definitely way bigger than the PM size. 
there is a lot of room in here so I think this would be more you know convenient for a lot of people just for the fact that you can use it as a shoulder bag and you can even use it with like your jacket or your sweater so now let me show you side by side what the two bags look like so this is what they look like side by side you can see that the mm is definitely way taller than the pm size it's also longer in length you can see here you have all this room left now let me show you the straps compared together so you can see so here is the neverfull mm and this is the pm so you can see that there's definitely quite a few inches bigger on the mm size that's why i say this one here is more comfortable to wear as a shoulder bag but they're both very beautiful and i absolutely adore them both if i had to choose between either or i don't know <laughs> i think i like them both i i just really like them okay so here they are side by side and this is what the mm size looks like when it's on so it's definitely a really nice sized tote bag and this one here which is the pm size this is what this one looks like so it's definitely like a smaller tote bag but it's also super cute and it's actually pretty spacious this is what they look like side by side so the neverfull mm hits me right at about a little bit lower than my hip and the pm size it's right at my waist and here is the straps for the mm there's lots of room and the straps for the pm which is just about the top here so let me show you very quickly what you can fit inside and we're gonna put some items in my PM bag and then put them in the um, MM size just so you can see like what you can carry and how they look when they are packed. So here's the Neverfull PM and these are literally like all my essentials. I always carry everything in here except the MacBook Pro because that does not fit on this bag. So let me show you the inside, it's pretty spacious. So in this bag, I always carry my planner. As you can see, it fits perfectly in there and there's still lots of room. I also carry my wallet. I carry my vlogging camera. I also have this other little wallet and this one I really like because I can just put in like my credit card or my driver's license in here. And it's really really cute so I always carry this in there as well of course I can never go out without my sunglasses a charger got my cell phone there's still lots of room in there this I always carry this is like my makeup bag and I just have like random essentials in there like lipsticks and perfume so I always carry that in there and it's completely packed it's pretty heavy but as you can see it's not losing its shape and it looks pretty good and even if you want to throw more things in there there's still lots of room left so my MacBook Pro this is the 13 inch looks like it fits but it does not sometimes whenever I really need to carry it and I have to carry this purse I sometimes put it in like that so I also have my iPad this is not the mini it's like the standard size and this does fit in here and actually fits perfectly I always carry my iPad with me when I'm carrying this bag so this is what it looks like and it still looks pretty good like I said it doesn't lose its shape and you can still fit a lot inside so now we're gonna try the never full mm and I am going to leave the organizer in there so I'm going to put my planner inside this compartment like that I'm also gonna put in my makeup bag my sunglasses and this is why I love this organizer because you can literally have everything organized I'm also gonna put in my little wallet keychain my wallet 
my blogging camera, charger. So now everything is in here and you can still put a lot of things inside. It's pretty spacious and I really love the fact that it has the organizer so that everything's kind of like standing up and it's easy for you to find. So here I have my MacBook Pro and I'm going to put it in here and it fits perfect. And I can even put my iPad if I wanted to on the side. It would just make it way too heavy if I did that, but it's definitely possible and you can definitely fit it in there. I am gonna take the iPad out just because I think it's way too much, but this is what it looks like. And as you can see, the organizer prevents it from sagging or losing its shape on the bottom. So that was it for my comparison on these two gorgeous bags. I really hope you found it helpful. I know a lot of people tend to stay away from the PM size and they really think that it's like a small bag, but it's so beautiful and I would highly recommend it. I would also recommend the MM size. It's also a great and very versatile bag. So whichever one you decide to get, they're both wonderful bags. I love them. I really hope you found this video helpful in case you are considering getting either of these bags and I will see you all next time. Bye.